Hi, everyone. Uh, happy Wednesday. Uh, it's great to be with you today. Pray you had a great day yesterday. Um, we continue our, our focus today of, of how the, the trauma that we're living in through this torn apart world, how it sometimes makes us feel helpless. Uh, and because of that, we lash out sometimes. The last uh, two mornings uh, or two days, Monday and Tuesday, uh, we've shown you examples of how um, very, uh, very prominent people, Moses and the, and the two of the disciples, how they did that. It, it, they lashed out and how God didn't leave them there, but came to them, rescued them and, and then uh, in, and renewed in them the reality that uh, that they rested in the power of God and what they did mattered. Right. So today I'm going to give you a positive example. It's of the early church, the some of the very first Christians. Starts out with the um, the death uh, of the very first martyr, Stephen. Uh, I'm going to read the end of that, and then just I'm, I'm going to let it flow. So here, here we go for the Book of Acts. Uh, when they heard this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. So Stephen. Was, was preaching this sermon. It was convicting uh, the, the, the crowd of, of their sin and that Jesus Christ was literally the one to hear it. So they got more angry and more angry. And God uh, showed Stephen this because he would shortly be, be murdered, be stoned to death. At this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he fell asleep. And Saul was there giving approval uh, to his death. Uh, so um, there had been some peace in Jerusalem before this time. Uh, and now uh, the persecution began anew. Uh, and, and, uh, and this is what it says. On that day, a great persecution broke out against the, Jer the church at Jerusalem. And all except the apostles were scattered. I want you to remember that. All except the apostles were scattered. So the leaders were not scattered. But the rank and file, everybody else was scattered, right, uh, throughout Judea and Samaria. So if, if you remember, uh, Jesus said, you're going you're gonna to be my witnesses in Judea and in Samaria, uh, you know, and to the outermost parts of the earth. But, but they hadn't gotten very far. Uh, so so you, you had this... Um, this great persecution that broke uh, that, that broke out, and, and so all the Christians were scattered except the leaders. So let's see what happens. Um, godly men buried Stephen and mourned deeply for him, but Saul began to destroy the church. Going from house to house, he dragged off men and women and put them in prison. So their, their lives were torn apart, right? Whole families thrown in prison. Uh, their, their, their homes co confiscated. They lost everything. They had to run out of the city, penniless probably. You know, it, it, the, the upheaval in their lives, it probably doesn't even compare to what we're living through. All right. It, it, I mean, it's so, so beyond that. So how did they react? What did these first Christians do? Uh, did they lash out in anger? Did they fight back? Um, did they feel so helpless? Um, that all they could do was lash out. So interesting. I think this is a positive example. In the midst of all this, this is what happened. Those who had been scattered preached the word wherever they went. Who had been scattered? The apostles? No. no not the leaders. The rank and file people. They proclaimed Jesus wherever they went. They took Jesus with them. They continued to do the good things that uh, God would have them do. They understood that they would make a difference with their lives for eternity in the kingdom. So they continued the, to, to preach uh, the, good, the word wherever they went. Even gives an example. Philip went down to a city in Samaria. Samaria. Remember, they were, they were blood enemies with the Jews. But he went down to Samaria uh, and proclaimed the Christ there. And proclaimed the Christ there. Uh, Philip... If, if you remember, was one of the folks who waited on tables. Stephen was too. Uh, and, and so through these, they, they had grown. I think sometimes you talk about disciples. What do we do? We, we want to make disciples by baptizing and teaching. And, and how do we grow in doing that? We, we can grow in doing that how? As we serve. Yeah, as we serve. We, we grow in, in, in doing that. Uh, and so this, this great uh, example then of how they responded their world was torn apart 
they say, oh, we're helpless. We can't do, it's, it's just terrible, and then get angry about it? No. They knew they were in the hands of Jesus, the all-powerful, uh, human, human yet, uh, 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 the, the, God, the God who took on human flesh, right? There, there, there we go. They, they, they knew that they were in the hands of this Jesus, uh, and they knew that everything they did in him would never, ever be done in vain. And it's the same in our lives. We too can and can simply be folks who share Jesus. That's what the gospel is, the good news of Jesus, even in the midst of our torn apart world and our torn apart lives. We pray with me. Dear uh, Jesus, we thank you for this, um, this wonderful example. These Christians, their world was truly torn apart, uh, taken from their home, thrown in jail, had to run away, leave everything they had. And yet what did they do? They trusted in you. Uh, they knew you were the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. <laughs> and so they went about uh, doing what uh, you had guided them to do, uh, to share this life and love of Jesus with those around them. We pray, Lord, that we might do that in the way we love people and the words we speak um, with those that are close to us and those who are far away. Uh, give us somebody this week to talk this over with. Uh, pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, may, may God be with you.